Hey everyone, it's Ann from Craft Fantastic, and I just wanted to show you uh, this year's uh, Christmas jewelry kit. It makes five necklaces, uh, two key rings, and three pairs of earrings. Super cute, you get it in two variations. This is the Christmas time variation, and then this is the mod, well here, I'll show you the image sheets. This is the mod Christmas. So you have your choice of the pink and blue or the green color, or get both. Um, and we have sort of a complicated little duplex necklace here. And we've got a cute little dangle pair here, but pretty easy to make and um, not too fancy, but just right and perfect in time for Christmas. So the kit is jam-packed with all kinds of things. Um, you're gonna make three uh, pairs of earrings. You're going to make five layered necklaces and you're gonna make two um, key rings. So this is what the two key rings look like. So you've got two of these guys, right? And then for earrings, and I would suggest when you get the kit, open everything up and kind of put everything, like put the glass, and you might have a couple extra pieces in there. I think we gave you some extra bling if you wanna move that around. But this is what the earrings look like. You've got a pair of dangle earrings, and these are two uh, tiny, this is tiny round link and tiny round tray, right? So that's that set. Then you've got this really, this is just very simple and petite and cute, and tiny ovals. And then you've got mini ovals. It's a little more of a statement. And I love this poinsettia in here. It's just beautiful. So you've got those earrings. And then for necklaces, you've got our puffy, um, and they kind of look like puffy rectangles. And they kind of, I think of them as looking at like cool dog tags or something. But this is one of my favorite shapes and sizes. And this is layered. You've got this. And then you've got our puffy rectangle layered with some of our crystal bling. And you've got two mini round pendants. Those are layered together. Simple but very cute. And keep in mind that all the ball chain you can cut with a pair of scissors and make any length that you want. And then we've got uh, the small square layered with the mini round bling. And then last but not least, you've got, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do this. Um, you've got this really cool layered necklace uh, with an ellipse connector and it's a duo side. So you've got an image on the other side. So it has sort of like a secret side to it. And that makes up the five necklaces. So two key rings, three pairs of earrings, and five necklaces. Okay, so this is uh, the kit, and it has everything in it you need to make uh, the five necklaces, the two, um, the two key rings, and the three pairs of earrings. Um, you're gonna need the kit, and then of course you're gonna need the secret sauce, our fantastic lays and glue, this wonderful stuff. This bottle will make like over 200 projects and you can use it for a lot of different things. We offer it in a half ounce, two ounce, and a four ounce. Then of course there's the fantastic super sticky dots. Work great for a lot of different things. They hold really, um, uh, well, and if you're using a large tray, you put more than one in. If you're using a tiny tray, you cut out little pieces, like you'll quarter it or half it. Um, tools, good old scissors, right? Can't live without scissors. Pliers, you need a pair, you need two pairs of pliers uh, because you use one plier to hold it and one plier, this is to do the jump rings, and one plier to move the, uh, to manipulate the jump ring. You really do need two pliers. It's sort of impossible to do without uh, two pairs. And then um, Q-tips are some other way of um, cleaning up around the edge. Some scrap paper and a hard surface to work on. You wanna work on a really hard tabletop. So this is a tabletop that I've got a piece of paper on and that is how I'm gonna make my fabulous Christmas jewelry this year.
Okay, so I'm not gonna show you how to make the whole kit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to make this necklace. It's a duo side, and I love the duo side because it sort of flips over and it's very cool. And this does have a few different parts in it. So I'll show you how to make this one. I'll show you how to make these earrings that are uh, um, two parts. And then I just wanna point out to the key ring, um, you wanna put the hook on the ring and you wanna put the pendant tray, or in this case, the, the key ring uh, embellishment on the, on the circle. So the idea is to, because uh, sometimes people sort of get confused, but you're, you're attaching everything to the ring. So let's get started. Okay, all right. To make our um, duplex, our duo side layered necklace, right, on this really cool ellipse connector, um, you're going to need the ellipse, right? You're going to need the duo side tray, and we're gonna put glass on both sides of this. So you've got two pieces of glass. You're going to need the small embellishment, the layering tray, right? That's a mini square. And then a chain link uh, 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 chain. And so we're actually gonna cut this and put this all together. Okay. So we're gonna make this really cool duo side layered necklace. And so the duo side tray has an image on both sides and then it's layered with another uh, image. And I like this because it has a snowman on this side and then you've got a little holly, but if you flip it over, you've got the poinsettia and that sort of works with the holly, right? So this is a sort of a contrast and then this is sort of working with it. Um, we're using the ellipse connector, really great piece, I love it. And then connecting it to a cut uh, Rolo chain. So to make this uh, duo side uh, layered necklace, you're gonna need the ellipse connector. You're gonna need a square, the duo side tray. That's the small square duo side tray. This glass that goes in both sides, right? Uh, this is the layering embellishment and this is the mini square with the mini square tray. We've got a 24 inch Rolo and then you're going to use four jump rings. All right. Okay, so now I have my little images cut out and you wanna leave a salvage all the way around um, because that gives a place for the uh, fantastic glazing glue to ooze out. And uh, I work on a scrap paper, I work on a hard surface. And so what I'm gonna do is create my little square um, piece of glass. All right. All right, so I've got my fantastic glaze and glue, and I'm just gonna squirt a blob in all four corners and one in the center. If I were doing a round piece, I would just squirt a blob in the center, um, but you do need to do the corners if you're making a square because the glue or the glaze and glue will not go all the way to the edge. So I want it to go all the way, all the way around to the edge. And again, I'm working on a hard surface. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean up all the way around with my little Q-tip. There we go. Okay. And then I'm gonna trim the paper off. And you can do this once everything's dried. I like to do it when it's really wet or really dry. One or the other, not in between. Okay, there's our first piece of glass. Okay, so now we're gonna put all of our uh, cabs and uh, trays together. And I'm gonna do this by, well actually we don't need to cut one because it fits perfectly. So I just put one in the center. And I peel that off, the orange layer. And this really holds. And then I simply put my little Santa right in there, just like that. And then I'm gonna do the same here and then the same for this one. All right, so now we're gonna put our necklace together. We've got our two pendants that we're gonna to layer together. We have our connector and we have our chain. And the first thing you're gonna do, and this is really simple, you're just gonna cut this chain roughly in half. I cut it 
And now I've got these two ends, right? And what I'm gonna do is I am going to attach the two ends onto my, um, onto my um, chain. So I grab the, um, the jump ring with one hand here, and then I'm just opening it up and I'm going to place my, and it doesn't matter where it is, and I'm just adding the chain here. And it's a little tight, but actually we want it like that because then it is going to look better. All right, so now I'm just bringing these two ends together, right? And it's a little bit tricky because you want them to match up. There we go, that one looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with my next jump ring. I always try to use the smallest jump ring I can on a project. I think it's just better. We have three different sizes. We have small, medium, large. Okay, I'm gonna open it up. And I'm holding on to my jump ring with the plier. And I'm just putting this on here. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring these guys together. There we go. So that looks pretty good. This one is a little, there's a little bit of a gap, so I'm just gonna take it and push it together. Just like that. There we go, that looks better. Okay. So now I'm going to attach my, my duo side and then the layer on top. Now, you have to think about, okay, do I want the Santa to show up with the little snowflake or do I want the party? And I think what I wanna do is I think it's cute. These are sort of graphic, so I'm gonna make it like this and then the surprise in the back is the party. And again, open it up. And you're moving it side to side, you're not pulling it apart. There we go. And I'm gonna move my, uh, my jump ring up just a touch. That's not gonna work. Yeah, we'll try that. And this is gonna be a fairly tight little fit here, but you can do it. It's a little tricky, so this is gonna take me a little bit. You know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna put this on first, and then I'm gonna put this on. There we go. And then again, I'm just moving it side to side and bringing those two together, just like that. Okay, so there's my Santa. And I'm gonna put the pendant on first. And now you have to pay attention to, you want this facing, do you see how this is facing? I'm putting it on in the same direction because I wanna make sure that it faces the right direction on the finished piece. Now, if you put it on backwards, obviously you can just go and fix it. But, and I've done it a lot, putting it on backwards. Okay, and now we have our little duo side layered necklace. And it's got some interest in terms of the way it hangs with the ellipse and it's kind of a fun little thing. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to do the, um, the double earrings, right? Where you've got the two pieces. And that size is right down here. And I think, because we're gonna be using pink, Right, look at how cute that is. I love that. And I love pink Christmas, and um, actually it reminds me of my grandmother. She used to do a pink flock tree, and I thought it was just the most glamorous thing I'd ever seen in my life. And I think what I'm gonna do with this pair, I think I wanna do the little Santas. I think that'll be cute. Okay, this is what you need to make your cute little dangle earring. Um, you need the two images, you need the two tiny round uh, trays, you need the two tiny round link trays, 
You need a couple of jump rings to attach these two together. You need your pink bling here, your crystal bling, and then your two uh, pieces of glass that are gonna go on top of the images. Okay, so again, I'm gonna work on a hard surface. And this is just a tiny little piece. This is our tiniest round. And I'm just gonna squirt a blob out. And you just need enough so it, again, it oozes out the side. And this time you're just squirting it right in the center. And then I'm gonna push down on it. And I am going to clean up around the edge with a Q-tip, just like that. And then my scissors tend to get a little gluey. You can just scrape this stuff off. If you do get a little glazing glue on the front of the glass, just use an X-Acto knife once it's dried to clean it off. Okay, there's our little cab, and now I'm gonna make the other one. So now we're gonna put all of these together and we'll end up with a cute little earring that looks like this. So I'm gonna use my fantastic sticky dots. And, and in this situation, what I'm gonna do is I am going to trim them. I'm not trimming them, I'm cutting them, um, I'm cutting them into quarters. So you just take this and you stick this down. Just like this. And I'm peeling that little orange layer out off and it's tricky to get off. And sometimes you peel up oh, the dot too. But it, this stuff is, as I said, really strong. If you use it correctly, this will not fall apart at all. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my little, little sand in there. I'm tipping his little head back a little bit. There we go, see how cute that is? Okay, and now I'm gonna attach my crystal bling. Just like that. Okay, and that's gonna go like that, and I'm gonna take my one pair of pliers and get my second pair of pliers and just move it side to side. I'm gonna make sure I've got everything going in the right direction. Now I'm gonna attach my French ear wire. And I like a French ear wire. I like a really simple, simple ear wire. And this one's easy. You just hold it in your hand and you just bend it to the side. And then you bend it back. And voila, you've got a super cute pair of earrings. All right, so we just, um, hopefully uh, you followed along and you'll be making or you made all of these great uh, Christmas, Christmas, all of this great Christmas jewelry, Craft Fantastic style. I hope you have a happy holidays and I hope you have fun and you're, it's creative and, and also I hope you get outdoors and go for a couple of nice wintry walks. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.